today oh yeah yeah no 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 I know that's today yeah I'm I am well I'm, I'm in the car I'm driving now yep oh it's it's the traffic it's the traffic uh yeah. <clears throat> yes yeah, there's people honking everywhere I am I I'm in there I'm in the car right now yeah, I'm, I'm uh, just trying to get there just on the street right now there's a lot of blocking traffic no babe I would not rather be anywhere else in the world today is all about you and I am so excited for it yeah, I, no, I dress nice. Yeah, I got I got a collared shirt on. Of course, I did my hair. Yeah, yeah, no, I I look great. Like I I you, you don't know how excited I am about this day. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Gotta get there. Gotta get there. Oh, hold on, someone's texting me. Apache rifle works. Matt, the new Serbu rifle is here at the shop. Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt and today I have a very interesting episode planned for you. But before we go any further, I want to say thanks to our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Awesome champions? Check. Tough bosses? Check. Millions of players? Check. Years of content and regular updates? Check and check. There are millions of players every month, over 100,000 members on their Discord, thousands of videos every week, and almost 40,000 members on Reddit. Raid Shadow Legends has been downloaded over 25 million times. There have been over 2 billion PvP live player battles spots so far and there's tons of resources online if you're looking for help on getting started checking out the champions or learning how to defeat bosses on channels such as YouTube twitch and discord pretty cool to just scroll through all the factions and check out all of their different champions you can really tell the detail they put into all of them and they went above and beyond to make all of them unique make them different from each other even though there's tons of them they all have different abilities different skills and different looks which is mayor Raid's always releasing new updates, and the biggest update ever is in development right now, the Doom Tower. It's 120 floors with super hard levels and even harder bosses. The Frost Spider, the Magma Dragon, the Tomb Crab, they all look awesome. You'll need to build special teams and strategies to beat them, and I can't wait to dive in and start playing. You can find me in the game under the nickname Dr. Demolition, and if you're fast enough, you can even join my clan. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special link, and if you're a new player, you get 100,000 silver plus one free epic champion, Slasher, who's super awesome, if you click within the next 30 days. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Good luck! and I'll see you there. We acquired a door. Don't ask questions, just say, great job, Matt, we <laughs> find that door. It is an airplane door, one of the regular ones that you see on a giant airplane. This is off the emergency exit row. So this is a door that we don't normally see open because you don't normally see emergencies. It's very thick, as you can see, and as you'd imagine on an airplane, it's a good five inches thick. We're gonna do two different things on this. First, we're gonna shoot through the glass, because as you guys know, there's a lot of thick glass to keep you safe from going really fast. So we are going to shoot glass first to see if we can make it through, hit our target, and we're gonna work our way up in caliber, and then I think we'll try the side. I assume that's gonna be better. So I have no idea what this thing is made of. Right here you can tell it's made of some kind of composite. It has metal in it, but I think it's mostly composite. Weighs 41 pounds, 19 kilos. Throw hatch out of aircraft. Okay, we will chunk this hatch out of the aircraft. You also could open it from the outside. All right, you guys are safe, I saved you. I left it up so forcibly. First up, 22 long rifle. I am a little bit uh, worried about ricochet. So, here we go. I'm going straight at the glass. Oh, this is the one with the wobbly sight. I'll get my excuses in early if it misses. Turns out, gotta take the safety off. Perfect shot. Okay, if that went through, it totally hit him in the head. I think it stopped, actually. Man, it did a lot more damage than I thought it was gonna do. Yep, nothing went through here. Should put a shade down, give him a little more extra protection there. I don't know where the bullet is. Oh, I guess that must be, that's pieces of glass there. Oh, that is, that is the bullet. I thought that was a piece of glass. So the bullet hit in there and then busted in a bunch of pieces. That's glass mixed with lead right there. Okay, well, we successfully stopped the 22 long rifle. I'm impressed. Let's move up 
to another tiny baby caliber because I think anything real is going to go through this. The powerhouse, a 380 ACP. Oh man, I can already feel this power coming through. Firing! It seemed solid. It seemed real solid. Ouch! Yeah, that's new. Man, okay, so that's pretty thin, honestly. It has a bunch of sheets, little sheets of plasticky glass. None of it's actual glass. And uh, yeah, we shattered it. They keep you from touching it with this thin piece here, which I cannot get out. Should have left that down, should have known. Okay, uh, sorry, Mr. Golden Head, that didn't work at all. Did not even protect against the 380. Remember that one time we made the glove video and it was terrible? <laughs> I'm so glad we're not about to do that again. Back to the 22 long rifle, I love these videos when we have to go back down. We are shooting at the actual door now, down low. That made a much bigger hole than I thought it would make. Oh, it didn't make a hole, that is metal. I really thought this was not metal framed, but it's, it's definitely got aluminum. That's great. Yeah, it, this thing only weighs 41 pounds and for as big as it is, I thought it was probably all kind of composite plastic. Uh, that's really, 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 really good for the sake of you in this video. <laughs> Back to the 380. Place your comments down below, your predictions down below. Do you think a 380 is gonna go through it? Pause the video right here and then come back. I think a 380 is not going through. I think it's stopping on the front here. Oh, it went through. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's a good good hole right there through our thin piece of aluminum. And I don't see daylight coming through. Yeah. Yeah, it went. It went right through. A 380. A 380 goes through the glass and the door. I really thought when the 22 just made that little tiny dent there that we had something. But that aluminum that the aluminum panel was the only thing that was actually stopping the bullets. I think there's a bunch of fibers in there, but they are not Kevlar, and the bullet just tumbled straight through them and right out the back there. Yeah, you know, just little fibers. Psh, doors aren't even bulletproof. Pah. Yeah, hello? Oh, hey, YouTube. Oh, not only are my videos going to be demonetized, they're also just not going to be allowed to upload. Why? Is it because of the guns? Oh, it's the poor content. <laughs> I totally understand. Uh, I decided that since the gun content wasn't very good, I would just do other things to entertain you guys. So, like, let's let's break a cinder block. Ready? Can't even break a cinder block. It's fall now. Let's make it fall. That was cool. You got to admit, that was cool. missed it. <laughs> I just hit the ground. Dude perfect, but with guns. No. Uh, dude perfect, but with guns. Dude perfect, but with guns. Dude perfect, but with guns. Oh, that was so close. Dude perfect, but with guns. Dude perfect, but... Missed everyone. I've got it! Okay, so a couple weeks ago we filmed a video where we shot Kevlar gloves, hoping to see how bulletproof they are. Turned out they were not bulletproof at all. They weren't even cut proof like they were supposed to be. It was the worst video I've ever made. And so I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy gloves that are bulletproof. And so we did. I bought these. These are cut gloves, but they have metal fibers wrapped all around them. They're awesome. And I was like, this could be bulletproof. And then they also come with this. <laughs> so these are cut gloves, right? So you'd think you wouldn't be able to cut them, but if you go chop, 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 that one actually didn't cut. Chop, chop, chop. Slices it right open. Probably not gonna stop a bullet either. I got these, was really pumped that we had found some bulletproof gloves, and then I tried cutting them and it just 
it just chops it. I mean, it's steel. Those are steel fibers, but they're probably not gonna stop a bullet. So I was thinking, what if we get all of our bulletproof gloves and we line them up in front of the window and see if it'll stop a bullet and protect our passenger? Video saved. Uh, maybe. We should just talk about how uh, 380 is like super powerful so that people who don't know will think like, like, oh, this is like a really powerful round that made it through. Not like a really weak round. Okay, so yeah, I'll do that. All right, guys, we got the super powerful 380. We're going through it. Made it through the door because it's so powerful, but will it make it through like five pairs of shark proof gloves? So I was just like building it all up so it seems more epic, you know, so we get more views. All right, here we go. Firing! Uh, direct hit. <laughs> And it sunk pretty deep in those gloves, but stopped. Didn't even go through the door. Definitely dented the door. What did we hit? It cut it on the back side. Oh, there it is. That is our 380 smashed flat against that door. I think this, this plastic strap is what actually stopped it. <laughs> Sweet. Well, I mean, like, this is about as powerful of a gun as you can get, but we have one that's a little bit more powerful because, like, it's, they're both just, they're both extreme. We'll just go a little bit higher now. That worked great, that was awesome. Okay, we got the old Maxim 9. We are shooting the ultra powerful nine millimeter cartridge. Pretty much goes through everything. Firing. That seemed really solid. I don't have a good feeling about this. Dang, you actually even cracked the glass. Amazing, Um, if I, like basically video saved, subscribers aren't leaving. My life couldn't be any better right now. What's funny is these things are all still going through the gloves. And the gloves are just slowing them down enough that they are not going through that first layer of aluminum. This is the old Cabot 45 ACP. A big old heavy bullet. This is a full metal jacket, so it should have fairly good penetrating capabilities. Just like me. Oh, I mean, back to the video. Firing! Yeah. I I don't know, that might have stopped. I'm not sure. Oh, dang, stopped. Big old dent, but nothing going through. Let's move this over a little bit. Basically, these plane doors are just amazing. Like, just super strong and bulletproof. I don't think it has a whole lot to do with the gloves at all. But everything is just going straight through the gloves. Slowing down enough, and then they stop on that. The next round, though, boom, all the way through. That's my bet. Today, we're shooting nine millimeter out of this shotgun. Just kidding, it, that's not, it doesn't, a mag doesn't go in there. Uh, it's double out buck, 12 gauge. There's two things here. It may go through, it also may spread enough that it misses our gloves and goes around it and then also will go straight through. It's only one way to know. Firing! Oh. oh, firing again. Everything hit right here. There's our wad, just smashed through our glove here. Now, the real question, oh no. Yeah, there's some pieces right there. That's a, that's a buckshot pellet. There's another one right there. And then I think a lot of them went through. Let's see what the inside looks like. Whoa, nothing? All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, we really figured this out. So I would uh, advise, if you're on a plane, sit in the door that has the uh, gloves on the outside, then you're protected. One more round. This one's going all the way through. I will bet the ranch on it. And I'll edit it if I'm wrong. 50 Beowulf, that's a 50 cal. Big old round, firing out of a regular sized AR. It, uh, it's gonna go straight through. No doubt. Firing! Oh yeah. And, boom, straight hole through. No question. Shoo-wee! Yeah, you can see what's in there. It's just a bunch of layers of this fiber that's woven together, which is what I suspected. And the reason why we thought it might be bulletproof, because that's what Kevlar is too, but turns out not super bulletproof unless you put a bunch of gloves in front of it, which, which I do every time I fly. 
Better safe than sorry. You like to protect your hands, right? Me too. Everyone does. And you should do it with these gloves. And you can purchase these gloves for five easy payments a week. But wait, there's more. We're also including shotgun shells with every one. That's not even legal, but we're doing it for you. You want a shotgun shell? There you go. You want a shotgun shell? You know what? Two for you, buddy. Not legal in most states. We don't care, because we love you. Don't like white gloves? We got you. Top. <laughs> <laughs> We got red too! Like America? God bless it! What's that? We've never done that before. If you buy right now, you get this, and this, and this. You get a free can of spray paint. You get earplugs. They're for you! Ow, hit me in the eyeball. <laughs> I've actually been sort of depressed after the last couple of videos that have been just sort of bad. They've just ended poorly. I thought they'd go better and they didn't. So just I'm just low right now. I'm at a low point in my life. I'm just feeling down. And it would really help me if you guys talked bad about someone else in the comments below to lift my spirits. So in the comments below, will you guys tell me everything you don't like about donut operators videos? I would love to just just be the bully and, and laugh at, at his worst video to make myself feel better. And for a limited time only. I'll pick a few commenters, I'll ask you your address, and I'll send you one of these buckshot shot up gloves to your house. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I promise you the next video is gonna be better. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby?